In this video, we're going to simulate an attack against an AWS environment. We'll be using an open source tool called Stratus Red Team to automatically generate vulnerable environments and resources, and then automatically execute an attack against those resources. More specifically, we're going to run an attack that backdoors an S3 bucket policy. This method allows an attacker to access and exfiltrate S3 data, but we'll talk more about it in just a second. I'll also be sharing a cheat sheet at the end of the video, so stick around for that free download. As a disclaimer, this video is intended purely for educational purposes, only use this to simulate attacks against your own AWS environments and or with explicit permissions. This is an invaluable resource for learning how to defend your own environments and should not be used for malicious purposes. But with that, let's get to it. So Stratus Red Team is an automated red teaming tool that was created by Christoph Tefani de Reaper. I hope I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. You know, I thought I had a difficult last name, but you've definitely got me beat there. But anyway, Stratus Red Team has a bunch of different attack techniques out of the box. And in this video, we're just going to demonstrate one single attack technique that backdoors an S3 bucket policy. And to do this, we first need to install Stratus Red Team. However you decide to install is completely up to personal preference and what operating system you're using. Since I'm currently using macOS, I used Homebrew to install it. But you could install directly with Go, since this tool is written in Go. You could also use pre-built binaries. You can even run from Docker. Or if you're on Windows, you can use the ASDF Runtime Version Manager. If you have issues installing it, leave me a comment below and we'll troubleshoot, but otherwise pause here and then come back once you've installed it. Then it's time for us to run a simulated attack. For this step, you have two options that I'll give you. Option number one, you can use your own AWS environment, but do not use a production environment. Use a sandbox completely separated from all other resources. Or option number two, you can use Cyber's hands-on lab that we created for this exact scenario. It's completely free and only requires a free account registration, no credit card required. I'll leave it up to you, but you will need valid AWS credentials, however you get those credentials. The easiest way, if you wanna use your own account, is to create an IAM user give it admin privileges, create access keys, and then set them in the AWS CLI with the AWS configure command. I would just highly recommend that you delete that user immediately after you're done with the simulation because you don't want that hanging around, especially not with access keys. If you are using our lab environment instead, you will receive these credentials after you start the lab and all you have to do is copy paste them in the AWS configure CLI. Either way, go ahead and set your credentials and because Stratus Red Team uses Terraform behind the scenes, you may need to run these two export credentials commands. Otherwise, you will encounter some issues with credentials and authentication. Because if you don't run this, then it may complain that your credentials are not set when you try to run it. If you are running on Windows and you're using PowerShell, you'll instead run these commands. Now, if you follow these steps, it should work fine. I've only had a couple of learners tell me that it still didn't work in certain Linux distributions. I'm not entirely sure why yet, but if it doesn't work, then let me know in the comments below and we'll try to troubleshoot. So to make sure that everything is properly installed and configured, let's go ahead and run this command of Stratus. I recommend reading through all of the available commands, but I'll walk you through just a few of them. To view a list of all supported attack techniques, you can run Stratus list. Before this lab, we're going to be using the attack technique of AWS exfiltration S3 backdoor bucket policy. So let's go ahead and display more information about it. This information tells us what the attack technique will do during warmup and during detonation. Stratus Red Team can have three states for each attack. It can have a cold state, which is when the attack hasn't been touched or executed at all. Then it has a warm state, which is when the attack has been warmed up. And in the case of this specific technique, warm up will create an S3 bucket. And this is the S3 bucket that we will then attack with our backdoor policy. And then you have the hot stage, which happens when you detonate the attack. Again, for this specific technique, during detonation, it tells us that it will upload this bucket policy. So here we have an effect of allow. We have a principle that's a fake account ID. But of course, if an attacker were doing this in the real world, then they would enable access to their own external AWS account. For the actions of S3 get object, get bucket location and list bucket, which enables the attacker to retrieve objects from our buckets. So Stratus Red Team creates its own resources that it will use during the attack simulation, and then it keeps track of state for those attacks, which in my opinion are two major benefits to using a tool like this. Of course, you can do all this manually, all this yourself, but this saves you a ton of time. So let's go ahead and warm up the attack with Stratus Warmup and then the attack technique name. Once that runs, we can check to see if a bucket was created and we'll see our bucket. We can also check the status of the attack by running 
stratus status for that specific technique. Okay, so we've warmed up the attack and we see our bucket. Before I go ahead and detonate it, let's check to see if there is a current bucket policy with the S3 API CLI command for get bucket policy and then specifying our bucket name. We can see that there is no bucket policy currently, so let's go ahead and detonate the attack with stratus detonate and the attack technique name. Like I said before, it's smart enough to know what state it's in, so it will automatically detect that it's already created the prerequisite bucket and does not need to perform that warm up action again, and it will go straight to executing the attack. If we had skipped the warm up stage, then it would execute the warm up, then execute the attack. But there it is. The tool has backdoored this bucket by uploading a bucket policy, granting read access to an external AWS account. And so now if we rerun the status check, we will see that it has changed the status to detonated. And then once you're done with your attack, Stratus Red Team has the ability to roll back the changes that it made when you detonated by using the revert command. But not all attacks can be reverted depending on what it does. This is one of the attacks that can be reverted. And then you can now check the policy again after having reverted and you'll see that it's now missing. Okay, but wait, you're not quite done yet. Once you've finished running the attack, it's really important that you clean it up because otherwise not only are you leaving vulnerable resources in your account, but you can end up leaving Stratus Red Team in a broken state where it's unable to detonate that attack again because it believes that it's already been detonated. So make sure that you run cleanup before running off. If you don't do this and you end up manually deleting the resources, you'll have to find the directory where Stratus Red Team is installed, find the Terraform directory in files, and then delete the state for this attack. But in this case, once you run cleanup, it will delete the backdoor policy if you haven't already reverted, and then it will delete the bucket itself. This is different from reverting, where reverting will keep it in a warm state, while cleanup will completely remove all related resources and then change it to the cold state. You can then verify that the bucket is gone with AWS S3 LS and you should have no more results or at least no more S3 bucket that was created by Stratus Red Team. Congrats, you've just run an attack simulation against your AWS environment. There are many more attacks that you can run through Stratus Red Team and you can check those out from their documentation. We also provide some of these attacks as hands-on labs that you can deploy on cyber, so check out our hands-on labs there. Otherwise, as a next step, I'd recommend using these attack simulations to practice detection and incident response. I'll be creating separate videos dedicated to that, so subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss those. And as promised, here's a link for your free cheat sheet download that talks more about Stratus Red Team as well as another attack simulation tool called Atomic Red Team. But that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.